Hello, Brother Mandre here. Welcome back to Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts, where, as Spain, we are, well, we're approaching the late 1930s, mid-1930s, late 1930s. We now have the Mark IV 12-inch and the Mark V 5-inch. Uh, I'm going to refuse all orders today, um, which means we can get some refitting done. We can refit the Alertas, the Lobregats, all, all the destroyers, basically. And we can ref refit the Aguilas and the new Sanceres class, which are starting to commission, which is absolutely fantastic. So I'll do the destroyers first, wait a couple of months, and then I'll do the battle cruisers, uh, particularly as another one is repairing. Uh, I don't need any of you on any of that. Thank you very much. So need to increase that a little bit. We lost. Uh, can only only need to do it for a turn at like two percent, um, because we we lost a couple of transports because of the uh, war with Austria, which is now over. Um, yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, right. Let's get let's let's get on with it. Alerters. Alerters, alerters, alerters. Right, let's have a look at you. You're the only ones using a 5.3. <laughs> um, don't have very many of you left, but uh, yeah, there we go. 5.3 inch guns, you get to keep them. Uh, we don't have radar yet, no. Don't. We do have sonar three. Uh, we have oxygen torpedoes, have semi-auto loaders. Improved turrets and things. That's all nice. Better anti-flash. Better armor. Better steering gear. I do have enough money now that I'm not worried about penny pinching. And I could just have nice ships. There we go. That's pretty, pretty easy to do. Uh... Pfft. I think increasing their range is probably the most useful thing to do with the alerters. Um, just to increase their tr convoy protection abilities. Lovely. Right. Uh, next destroyer. I don't have the alerters anymore. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm talking about. I uh, I got rid of them. We don't have any alerters. Um, so I don't know why I still have the design. That was pointless. So uh, let's go for the Lopragats next oh dearie me what's wrong with me <laughs> I was like oh yeah the alerters I haven't seen those for a while uh, uh, yeah that's because you got rid of them all oh uh, dearie me right oil double geared turbines improved stuff yes please improve all that Semi auto loaders, that's a big plus. Auction torps, better sonar, top end optical rangefinder, and that's pretty much it. Right. Uh, uh, what can we do with you? Again, we could boost your range to maximum. That's pretty nice. Um, can we get you an extra torpedo tube? It's like 50 tons. It's going to be pushing it, isn't it? Yeah, three tons over. Uh, what, what's the difference between a dual and a triple? 20 tons. That'd be 60 tons total. Mm. Yeah, do you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll keep the range one step below and we'll bump up the uh, torpedo count to a quintuple and uh, call it a day. Right, next. Okay, next up we have the Guadalettes, uh, which are probably going to be a fairly... Fairly really straightforward upgrade. Uh, 
semi auto, the oxygens, improved sonar sets. Oh, their gun length is a bit weird. Probably missed that on the other one. Some people are now screaming in the comments. Um, and we can get their range sorted out, which was a problem with them originally. But now they have a very decent range of 14, 15,000 kilometers. Um, lovely stuff. Okie dokie. Right, next. All right, uh, we need some more destroyers, I think is the problem. And I've got a few options. We've got the two advanced destroyers. I'm going to go for the compact because the advanced destroyer large is just too big. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this hull when it's a cruiser. And to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of it when it's a destroyer either. But I think we can make something out of it because our biggest destroyer is two, just it's kind of two and a half thousand tons currently. So if we went for two six. You know, that's not crazy. Um, it's not like the 6,000 ton hybrid destroyers you can build. Um, <laughs> you know, maybe we can make something out of this. Uh, the Cometa. Uh, right, towers. 405 tons. No. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go with the, the lightest one. Thank you. Uh, it doesn't come with a funnel. No, it doesn't. Uh, I do like the dual gun towers. They um, they look cool. Uh, <laughs> advanced reasoning. With a funnel. How fast can these things go? 35, which is the same speed as all the rest. Well, not all the rest, but most of the rest of our destroyers. So that's fine um right main guns might as well use a triple five so this will be like the uh do i, do I have one that uses a triple five three twins four twins i don't okay this will be our first Triple gun DD. Um, it's a shame you can't have that style as a barbette with the kind of swept gun shield on it. Something like that. Quintuple torpedo launcher on the back. Uh, it's the ship that gets the... Yeah, it is the handy dandy little um, secondary mounts basically. So we can have some little two inch guns as well for shooting up transports and things like that. Um, Okie dokie. It's got loads of engine efficiency, that's fantastic. Put all the usual stuff on it. I think we'll go with the increased HE still. Oh, I've got to have weight. Shocking. Uh, right, what are we using at the moment? 5 inch 40s. Might as well have two inch 40s if we can get them. No, we can't. Uh, let's go 38s. Sure. Um, armor. I think 1.5 is fine. 0 0.5. 0 0.3. 0 0.2. 0 0.2. Uh, 1. That's surprisingly good. It's still not going to keep out an HE shell. Uh, an AP shell, I mean. 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.2. Uh, let's just make it an inch. Uh, the rest all looks fine. Right. Why are we overweight? Hull. Tower. 
<laughs> Torpedo tube. <laughs> Fuel. Okay. Jesus. Uh, funnel. Okay. Let's use the smaller funnel then. That does save us a little bit. Uh, uh, is there anything else obvious to cut? Range is okay. Uh, hmm. Um, many drop the range a touch, and then if I went twenty seven, oops. Oh, that actually makes the ship bigger. Yeah, let's go 2650. Then I don't need to lose very much. Uh, what are we talking here? Like 30 tons? Torpedo tube is very heavy. Uh, what if I went one shot? Ah, oh, one ton? Ah, oh, damn it. There you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, cool. The Corvette class. A new destroyer. Lovely. Oh, yeah, I don't think they're too bad, actually. Yeah, they're a lot more expensive, but that's just inflationary pressure on <laughs> shipbuilding. Um, they are carrying a lot of gun, though. Uh, you know, I'm getting a 30% firepower improvement over the Quadalettes. Uh, oh, mind you, I'm not. They're eight gunners, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, the Quadalettes are probably just better, but these are newer and have better stats, I'm assuming. Yes, yes, they do. Um, we still have these two if we want to go even bigger, but. I mean, this is getting pretty much all you want out of a destroyer with this. A gun gun fighting destroyer, anyway. All right, I'm going to save this. I'm going to build, I don't know, 10. And uh, then I'm going to wait a couple months, and then I'm going to get the, uh, the battle cruisers refitting. All right, welcome back. Uh, we've got the Cometa's building uh, as well we, we are building three for Norway um, but now that everything is refitted repaired etc 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 I'm going I, I don't actually know how this is going to work because the San Ceres is a copy of a refit of the Aguilas that I never did on the Aguilas so I'm going to try and refit the Aguilas and see if the San Ceres can be refitted into them, or whether I have to do the same thing twice. Basically, I don't actually know. I haven't. The refit system got changed, and I don't know how it works anymore. Anyway, Mark Fours, 61. <laughs> no. No, I do not want 61 caliber guns. I'm not even sure I want 56s. 55 is plenty. Thank you very much. Um, Okie dokie. Right, well, there's the first thing done. Uh, RDF, Quinston's 5, that's all up to date. Give them oxygen torps and, most importantly, semi-auto loaders. Vastly increasing our rate of fire. They're already using our best chills and propellant. Um, we don't have any upgrades for any of this stuff. We do have better oil. Wow, that saves a lot of weight, actually. Um, and we can increase their torpedo protection as well. Well, okay then. Well, that's all pretty neat. Can we make the three-inch guns a bit longer? Yeah, we can make them 40s. 
Lovely. And then we've got 6%. We're well, very maxed range and bulkheads on these. Hmm. We could push speed. Or we could push armor. Because one of the problems that these ships ran into was taking hits from battleships. But, I mean, they are pretty well armored, to be honest. I'm tempted to just leave the ninth, the six percent weight on the table uh, for like radar and future upgrades and stuff. Um, because yeah, there's nothing we really need to put on them right now. All right, uh, right. Well, let's save this and then let's see what happens when we uh, try and refit them. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, I only get the Aguila and the Santa Perpetua. Okay, so I'm going to do the exact same refit on the Sanceras and get those refitting. And then I'll see you back on the fleet screen. Okay, Sanceras are also refitting. And before you comment, uh, the Aguilas, I know I forgot to increase their Conning Tower armor when I built them. I read all the comments about it. And yes, I know I forgot to do it when I refitted them. Twice. But I did remember to do it on the San Series when I refitted them. <laughs> I know they don't originally have it, but they do now. Okay? They have 40 litres of conning tower armor. Don't shout at me. Um, <laughs> so, I'm going to finish those two refits. Um, and then... Then what are we going to do? Um, I think the next thing is going to be a refit of the light cruisers once we get to the mark five six inches because the mark four fourteens are going to take a bit longer but probably still be in this episode um it's still nothing i do want to build something on that fast battleship that looks quite fun we could build a new new ship on that i'm not too interested in the super battleship right now i don't think that really fits what we want to do for Spain. We are about to get the radar rangefinder, which is going to be very, very handy. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, guess I'll keep an eye, keep an eye on what's what's going on. Um, how's Austria doing? Uh, yeah, they got a bit of bit of a war going on, haven't they? <laughs> All right. I'll see you in. Hmm, see you in possibly, yeah, let's call it a year. Welcome back. Uh, <clears throat> I have a, uh, an ally to the British. That would give us a lot of, uh, do you know what? Let's do it. Screw it. We've avoided being allied before, but unless they're planning on going to war with France, we should be okay. <laughs> Please tell me you're not prepared to go to war with France. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what is it? Oh, beans. Okay. <sighs> oh, well, well, this should be fun. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> We're about to be at war with Italy again, which is always fun. Um, however, we just got the Mark V 6-inch gun, so it is time to get some refits on the go for our light cruisers. And this will be quite significant, because we've not touched the CLs for quite some time. We can get oil 3, and the gear turbines... Citadel 5... Could I, you know, not too bad. Triple base. Ooh, I like that. Auto loaders. God damn. Oxygen torpedoes, radar systems. All sorts of uh, delicious additions. Can also up the armor on this thing. Which is fun. Right. Uh. Six inch 45s. Look at all that displacement we get back. Okay. Boom. B. 
big torpedo launcher. Uh, what about... Oh, hello. Some two-inch guns. Uh, let's make them... Was it 38s? No, we can get the 40s. Lovely. Uh, can max their range. Give them spacious crew quarters. Mm, we still have weight remaining. Could we... <clears throat> could we upgun these? How, what's the difference between a twin and a triple? No, uh, it's quite a lot, isn't it? Uh, 160 to 240. So 80 tons times four uh, is 320 tons. Hmm. Just, mm, maybe we can actually. Oh yeah, because then we're only eight tons over, and of course I added a little bit of a little bit of armor, didn't I? Uh, to put a oh I didn't do the inner layers. Uh, okay, let's let's actually make it all or nothing. Uh, and then fix the layers. There we go. Maybe, maybe make them like two. Yep. Two. Yeah, you go. Three, three, two. It's fine. Could maybe get them a little bit more. Two point seven. Yeah, two point seven. Okay, so shaved a little bit off compared to what was there before. Okay, but that's that's a that's a huge upgrade for the Leons. Lovely. Okay, next cruiser. All right, next up we have the Vigilantes, which uh, will give basically the same treatment. We'll go, uh, bottom up this time. Damn. Yeah, they're getting a lot back. Right, uh, layering. Right. Okay. Cool. That's a lot of weight remaining. I could increase their range a fair bit. Probably what I'll do first. I can give them a quintuple launcher rather than a quad. And then, oh man, I'd love to give these triples. Screw it, let's, let's, let's do it. I know I maybe don't have the weight to, but... No, I definitely don't, but let's see how bad we are. Oh, 23 tons. Well, I don't have to increase the range then as much as that. D damn, damn, that is going to be that is going to be a spicy ship. Uh, whew, that's fifth. What fifty? Yeah, fifteen six-inch guns on a single ship. Hmm. I feel like I want more of these. Uh, I've just realised they're they're not the only ships that use six inches. Oh, it's okay. I'll get the uh, Sanceres uh, slash Aguilas uh, another time for those. 
But yes, very good, very good. Right, I'm going to get these refitting, and I'm going to look in to see if we have any new heavy cruisers, or whether I just want to order another batch of vigilantes. All right, I decided to... Uh, th these Reina Cristinas are vigilantes, but uh, the refit one I just did, uh, copied, um, and I'm now building some more of them, uh, which will be useful because, well, we're a little... Uh, a little uh, light on the light cruisers. We'll have 18 refitted, so they'll bring us up to 28 total. A little light on the heavy cruiser, but I don't know. Um, the heavy cruiser hulls we've got are okay, but oh shit, we have actually got all of our heavy cruisers. Um, right, well, I, I, to be honest, I'd rather build more sandsets. <laughs> those are those are really really good ships. Um, yeah, so we, yeah, just the modern Heavy Cruiser 2, which we're already using, um, I think. Uh, or are we? Where's the... Hell is the cruiser? Ah, I can never see anything in this list. Uh, Begonias, there you go. Uh, yeah, these these are modern modern heavy cruiser twos. I'm sure of it because they're bottoming out at about eleven thousand. Uh, oh no, maybe they're not. Maybe they're modern heavy cruiser ones. So we could build a modern heavy cruiser two. We also have the large cruiser two. Although I think I prefer the Large Cruiser 1. Um, we have the... Mo oh, we do have the Modern Battle Cruiser as well. It, there are holes that we haven't really built on that I do like. There's also the fun of the advanced small battleship. But this is terrible. Uh, Modern Navy Cruiser 2. Maybe some more cruisers would be... Would be good. Um, the only thing is, I think our cruiser killing duties are best served by those... Uh, Sanceres and Aguilas. They are just so nasty. Because what would I base this around? Eight, eight inches? Um, we are a way to get the Mark 5 eights, but... Yeah, I just don't see it as as being something that we we want or need. Uh, the Bond Battle Cruiser. Uh, okay. Uh, what I'm looking at are the hulls. The hulls, the towers. So the fast battleship has a couple of the British towers, and this has some pretty nasty tower selections. Right. If I was only to be, um, yeah, I think the fast battleship is is slightly better. It doesn't have as good um, hull form, but yeah, we would be building something on this hull, I think. Uh, kind of a, a, a follow-on from the... Uh, where have they gone? The San Francisco Javier's. Uh, but that's not for just now. Um, I'm quite happy with what, what we've got building. Um, so I'm just going to go end the turn until the Italians declare war on us again. Well, Italy uh, seems reticent uh, to attack us. Um, so what I'm going to do, even though I'm calling them proved words, uh, what I'm going to do now that we have 14-inch uh, uh, Mark IVs, uh, the Cervantes and the Silencios can be quickly refitted. And I might actually cause the Italians to uh, declare war on us. I wouldn't be surprised. But yes, we can uh, take the new fat... Well, say new. I can take the fat Cervantes and refit her. Uh, oil. We had a gear two turbine. We do have diesels. Um, I'm probably going to avoid diesels as uh, Spain because they are fabulously expensive in terms of their maintenance. Triple base, auto loaders, radar. Mm, yeah, 
Very nice. Simple upgrade. Do not need 58 caliber guns, though. 50, 55 is probably the longest practical weapon uh, for me. Uh, uh, right, well, um, it's a pretty, pretty nice little upgrade, if you ask me. Uh, three inch. 45s. Now, a lot of criticism of this is that it doesn't have any secondaries, but um, yeah, it doesn't doesn't have secondaries. It just it just doesn't. <laughs> it's not, I don't really want to try and shoehorn them in. Um, oh, I could uh, fix her layering. Here we go. Um, None of that. I think she's uh, good to go. Yeah. Looks good to me. Right, I'll uh, go load up the silencios. Right, silencios. Uh, first of all, let's give her the same 55 caliber weapons. Oh, I'm going to have to do some... Actually... Uh... Well, we could be a bit more radical, seeing as we're having to move that gun. Why don't we swap the Silencios to a triple gun setup? Actually, let's not move the superstructure uh, just yet. I can do and shorten the Citadel. Uh, actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, 40... 45, yeah, let's do it. Let's shorten that citadel. Give me a ton of weight back. Uh, radar. Auto loaders. Triple base. Lovely. Uh, cool. And then we can put the rest into her armor layers, I think. Nice. That's a solid upgrade. It is going to take longer. Six months. But I think, I think worth it. Um, they don't have quite the same aesthetic appeal, and they are a bit more, well, I don't know, A, B, X, Y, they get an extra gun. <laughs> they do get an extra gun, which is always nice. Uh, and, yeah, I mean, the only other thing I could do with them is to put them, put them on a bulk diet and get rid of the minimum beam, minimum draft, just to get the displacement up. But I think that will add an unnecessary amount of cost and time. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to authorize this, and well, we'll see what happens. All right. Uh, yes, Italy is once again going to war with us. Oh my God, uh, they, they declared war on us. Of course, we're allied with Britain. Yes, come on, Britain. Tell me, you're all with Italy as well. Yes, you are. Okay, perfect. We can use the British... Oh, whoa, what the fuck happened here? Um, I, w I didn't even see that. Oh, oh, Austria. Are you having rebellion problems? And has that rebellion included your only main naval base? Oh, it's a shame they've taken uh, Ukraine and Romania, because if... If those rebel or get taken back, then uh, Austria is dead. Um, how's Russia doing? Bad. Cool. Right. Well, we know what to do. We're going to send every ship we have. To invade Sicily. Every single one. Uh... Yep. 
Do 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 Lovely. And then all ships in a Mediterranean theatre. On to sea control. Uh, all of you on to sea control. And I think everybody else. Oh, no, not you. Uh, all of you on to in being. And you for on to sea control. Lovely. Uh, well, let's see if the Italians respond. All right. Uh, well, <laughs> this is a good way to prevent um, the Italians taking Sicily, uh, Western Sicily, I mean, office, is to attack. And look, we even outnumber them for now. Uh, maybe the British will get involved. Uh, they are our ally, after all. Uh, I have immediately also ordered a naval invasion, which has, oh, better than I thought, a 76% chance of working. What do the Italians actually have right now? Oh, I didn't even look. What the hell has happened to them? Oh, I'm blockading them. That's why. So the, the, their GDP is not their real GDP. This is their... Uh, the fact that they're being blockaded is very, very bad. But I think they've been at war on and off since the last time. And it's really taken a toll on them. Uh, they don't have very much at all. They have five heavy crews, six lights, 22 destroyers. There's one, two. Yeah, two of the heavy cruisers already deployed. Uh, tell you what, let's see the flora, along with a bunch of Bulgarian destroyers, uh, blow up some stuff. That's always fun. It's obviously a refitted San Ceres. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, sh don't do that game. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. No crashing, thank you. Don't really need the destroyers. You can uh, you can bugger off. But yes, let's try out those new Mark IV 12 inches. This does not have radar yet. No, uh, they'll get the radar with the Mark V refit. I think. I think that is a good way of running, uh, particularly for Spain. Um, where the kind of constant refits is maybe a bit much, um, or doing it on a, on a five or ten yearly basis. But just doing it when you get the new gun mark seems to be working quite well. Oh, you're still running around with those, are you? It's the ten inch gun cruisers. They were using before. And that looks pretty similar as well. It's <laughs> a long range hits. 20 kilometers out, something like that. My uh, strategy of uh, having short, sharp wars has uh, definitely helped uh, Spain. Maybe this time we can finally put the boots to Italy. Plan will be the same as I uh, discussed some time ago to. 
uh, essentially take Sicily and then move on the Italian colonies. Got him. God, really did get them. <laughs> Jesus. in and out. It's hard, to, it's hard to get a proper ID on them. They, there's the Libya. Oh my goodness, it's got a hit. How rude. Ah, oh, she's fired at me. Oh. Oh, 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 savage. Right, I don't see any other. I don't see the other escorts just now. It's probably one of these ships over here. There's the heavy cruiser. Torpedoes coming my way. Yeah. Too much! <sighs> oh, thank Christ for that. <laughs> Back we come. Oh, nice. Main deck pen with HE. Bloody hell. Yeah, no armour. Let's get 
Secondaries are working over the transports. What are they firing at me? 4.3 inch. Kill the cruiser, please. Oh, that was a good hit. Right, one more, one more round should do it. So many shells. Carabinieri. Actually, yeah, focus on Carabinieri. Not particularly dangerous, but. <laughs> That's because she already fired the torpedoes. Thought she was just out. They're really, really going for it. <laughs> it's causing the audio to bug out. Taken out a couple of the three inch guns on the uh, port side of the ship. Starboard side is fine, so I might just uh, swing around. So it's six inch guns are working fine. How many rounds have we taken? Bloody hell! <laughs> Six thousand! Playing vanilla, I'd be dead, but. Manually target the whole time so the AI doesn't uh, target something stupid. I 
I'm out of uh, HE shells uh, on the 12 inch guns. 6 inch HE will be fine. Are they uh, running out of ammunition yet? No, oh, not quite. Getting close though. Do they have auto loaders or something? They're firing very fast. Nope, just enhanced. Jesus. Two left. <laughs> ah, lovely. Back to our natural state. War with Italy. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and uh, I hope to see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And uh, bye for now.